Hi, everybody. I've got a flash bedtime story for you. I'm actually um, leaving. Oh, great. There go the dogs. It's been perfectly quiet for like an hour. Now the dogs are coming in because they know when I'm going to go on and sneak in. Okay. So Enchanted, this is from Enchanted. Enchanted is, um, if anybody remembers, it is Sarah and Jared's story. Sarah was um, first, first came in. Sarah's been around for a really long time, but you probably will remember her from, from Thanked Him With Love and Jared. That was his first time to come in too. He um, is an actor in a lovely show called Dart, which um, is where he throws darts at people instead of arrows. Might look like somebody you know. Okay, so this particular um, little bit of snippet is uh, from a scene where <laughs> Sanctum and the club, you realize, um, have a yearly uh, football game. And by football, I mean American football, because they're American, so they do American football. All right, here we go. Your bedtime story for tonight. Are you the guy from TV? Sarah looked to her left, and there was a gang, full gang of kiddos standing in front of them. The Tiger twins were front and center, but they were joined by Olivia and Josh Barnes Fleetwood, Karis Tiger, and Chloe Lodge. A massive mud of a dog sat beside him. I'm not sure. I think that is supposed to sat beside him. So this is also not edited. This is like raw. Um, Kenzie held his leash, but Bud was a well-trained pup. He simply followed the Tiger twins around, happily wagging his tail at everyone he greeted. Unlike a lot of single guys she knew, Jared didn't seem at all uncomfortable around a bunch of kids. He gave them a steady smile. I was on TV for a while. I played a guy named Dart. My dad says darts can't kill people, one of the Tag twins said. But I think anything can kill if, hit, if you hit something hard enough with it. She was pretty sure that was Kala. Kala scared her. One time, she'd been at a Christmas party, and someone had given the twins matching a matching set of bouncing giraffes to ride on. Kenzie had squealed with delight and probably started bouncing around the party. Kala had taken the toy by its neck and disappeared like a lion dragging prey. She still wasn't sure what happened to that giraffe. What about marshmallows? Olivia asked. Looking at the younger girl, her arms crossed over her chest. Olivia looked an awful lot like her mama, Abby Barnes Fleetwood. I don't think a marshmallow could kill anything. Jared shrugged. It could if you were allergic to marshmallows, or if you got 100,000 of them and drown a person in them. Kala nodded as though the image was going through her young brain, and she found it pleasing. Yes, I can see that. Do you know SpongeBob? Kitsy asked with a bright smile. I haven't had the pleasure, but I do know a couple of Pokemon. Jared replied, no way, Karis said, yes way. Jared turned to Sarah, giving her a wink. I know some of the actors who do the voices. Josh Barnes Fleetwood had a cowboy hat on his head and a cynical look on his young face. She'd been told he was six, but he always seemed older to her. Well, I don't see what the fuss is about. He doesn't look like a bull to me. Karis nodded, he doesn't. Mama said he was probably a bull in bed, but I don't know what that means. Bud's tail thumped against the ground as if he didn't understand either. Jared was overtaken by a sudden coughing fit. I th think she means he's probably really strong. Sarah fought back a laugh. He works out a lot. Josh stared at Jared like he might or might not be a threat. My dad's work out in the gym, not the bedroom. Oh, I bet your dad's. She was going to say that she was pretty sure there was some serious working out going down at the ranch but a big hand covered her mouth and Jared was laughing as he held her close she was going to say all dads work out in their gyms Jared managed over his laughter he had one arm wrapped around her waist and the other over her mouth that's all and I am pretty strong from working out in the gym nicely done Johns big tag strode up a football in his hands kids Leave the civvies alone. They have no idea how to handle you. Go on. I think you'll find the hot dogs are ready and there's brownies for you afterwards. Let me take Bud or he'll eat a bunch of the hot dogs and barf, start barfing everywhere. Kinsey handed over the leash and the kids all raced off with the exception of Kala, who stood in front of her dad. He knelt down and gave her a smile. You okay, kid? Her lips turned up and leaned. As he, he, her lips turned up and she leaned over, whispering something in her dad's ear. Big Todd nodded, nodded. I'll think about it. 
It's an interesting idea. Go on, kiddo. She ran off to join her sister. Big Tag stood up, looming over all of them. Why does my daughter now want to find a way to weaponize marshmallows? Jared eased back, his arms loosening. I think that was my fault. She was trying to convince the other kids that anything could be a weapon if placed in the right hands. I was backing her up. Big Tag nodded. That's a good move on your part. I'm pretty sure she's keeping a list. It wasn't such a big deal when I thought she would forget, but now that she can write, it's getting real, if you know what I mean. Let's go, Johns. We got to get this game going. You're my secret weapon. Jared scrambled to get up. Uh, you know, I haven't played in a long time. Yeah, that's okay. You're the new guy and all our wives watch your workout porn. While the other team chases you around trying to rough you up, we're going to score. This is going to be the best year ever. Jared stared up at the big guy. Maybe we should talk about this. I think you'll be great, Sarah said. If he was going to play, the game had just gotten way more interesting. He glanced down, and she watched as his face became resolute. I'll see you after? What was she going to do about him? I'll save some cookies. I would love that. He looked like he might have stayed, but Big Tag started to drag him along with the dog. Cookies are for after. I need you hungry on the field. Let's go kick some ass. Well, I'll kick ass. You'll probably get your ass kicked. Jared looked back at her, her his eyes almost pleading. He was even sexy when he was desperate. So that is a little taste of enchanted. Let's hope that Big Tag doesn't kill off Jared and that the other side is a little nice to him. Um, I probably, that's probably my last little bedtime story for a while. I'm going to be in Europe. We'll see what happens. I've got to go find out what happens in Munich, and then I'll come back and let y'all know. So good night, and I hope you enjoyed it.